Hello. I had hoped to do some filming this weekend, but life sort of threw some other plans at me. Namely, I'm fighting a head cold, and I'm really in no condition to be on camera. So in lieu of additional beauty content, I thought I would post last Sunday's dinner. Uh, my husband and I were both chefs in a former life. Uh, while neither of us hold that occupation currently, um, I feel like we can come together and because of our diverse backgrounds, we both have unique contributions to dinner time. Um, so last weekend he had sprained his ankle. We had some beef short ribs in the refrigerator and this is a glimpse of what I decided to throw together. I hope you stick around. All right, first step was preparing the beef short ribs. Uh, overnight, what you would what you want to do is rub your ribs with chopped garlic, season them with salt, throw them in the refrigerator without covering them, and let that flavor intensify. Now on Sunday morning we fired up the gas grill and I essentially threw in some cherry wood chips. It wasn't me, I have to admit, it was my husband. Um, however, I am doing the grilling. So, low heat, close the lid to trap it, the flavors. You wanna be careful in your grill. The underside of that rib is covered in fat. On the grill, you can see it actually catching fire under the grill. Now, here you see I prepared a sheet pan with herbs from the garden, fresh thyme bay leaf, rosemary, and some sprigs of marjoram. Those hot ribs hit the herbs and the flavor truly is infused in the meat. All right, indoors you see I'm going to stand the ribs up inside a slow cooker that basically is empty with the exception of one chopped onion. Now two racks of ribs. These are about three and a half inches long. Easily fit inside my oval slow cooker. Here I'm packing those herbs into the center. In just a moment you'll see me add about two cups of high quality red wine. And your only other requirement is whatever stock you have on hand. Here I'm adding just about a tablespoon of tomato paste. And in just a moment, you'll see me add about two quarts of assorted stock from the that have has been thawed out from the freezer. That was probably a turkey stock left over from Thanksgiving rich chicken stock, and one more small container of stock. Here I'm setting the temperature for high, six hours. All right, there are a few aromatics I added off camera. Those include about a tablespoon of oven roasted black peppercorns, a tablespoon each of fish sauce and soy sauce, and about three, four shakes of Worcestershire sauce. Since the grill was hot, I decided to have one onion and caramelize that on the grill for additional flavors. Added that to the slow cooker. As you can see, the liquid does not completely cover the ribs. So I did check in throughout the day and flip those ribs so they would be immersed fairly consistently. But generally throughout the day, it does not require much attention as you can see from my dog, Fergus. All right, we're gonna cut to the stove where you, in the small saute pan, you see the ribs which have been removed from the slow cooker. This is the arborio rice, which is sweating in a little bit of butter and olive oil with one diced up white onion. And on the back burner there, I've got a smaller saute pan with some heated 
chicken stock, which I will use to as I cook out the risotto. Now, I am assuming you all, if you've made it this far, that you understand how to throw together a risotto using your favorite ingredients and your favorite methods. So I will speed up this process. There's just one more thing to draw your attention to. I have reserved the braising liquid over on my countertop, which I will pan to. You can see the fat already beginning to separate, but I'm going to chill this overnight and use it for other applications. That will allow me to completely defat that beef stock. All right, from this point, I will speed up the process so you can zip forward to the finished dish. I will put a timestamp if you're not interested in watching a high-speed risotto fest. Thank you for joining me. If you're interested in seeing food content on this channel, please give this video a thumbs up or leave a comment below. Uh, conversely, if you feel that I should separate my identities into different contexts and create different channels for those different interests, Please let me know your thoughts below or give it a thumbs down. Uh, thank you again for your time. Thank you for joining me. If you enjoy this content, please hit subscribe and the bell. And I hope to see you back for my next video. Thank you.